uh, just the way the world's coming together to tackle these things, um, the obvious one is climate change and transport, particularly public transport, the way that we can tackle some of the, the, the climate issues that the world has, whilst we're all focused on the short term here of a war in Ukraine, actually we know what will outlast that are the impacts of climate change. And so this conference has really been thinking that through, which has been, I think it's been really interesting. Also just the extent of collaboration. Again, perhaps it's something to do with the, the global picture. It's made people want to collaborate more, not less overall, and I think that's good. But also just thinking about how we reconnect the world post-COVID. I mean, people have not been traveling. They've kind of lost contact in many cases, or perhaps thought that they're okay working behind a, a Zoom screen, but actually discovering, particularly coming together here actually, how much better it is to meet in person. And transport, of course, is the only thing that can resolve that quandary. I've been in this role for nearly three years, so there would have been three of these. It's the first one I've actually been able to attend in person, uh, but due to COVID. And the difference of actually meeting fellow ministers from around the world and getting, you know, if you like, getting business done, uh, encouraging other ministers to perhaps uh, follow some of the agenda items and getting that excitement about transport and all its different forms. Um, that you can only do face to face. So I, I've seen much more progress you know, just by being together than I think last year's uh, event, if I remember rightly, was online. Uh, you pop in, you do that, you get on with your busy day, you have no side conversations. And that's the big difference in person. It really works. And that is ultimately why, because I've heard a lot of talk over the last couple of years, oh, this is it, you don't need transport anymore. We don't need to, you know, nonsense. It will not be long at all uh, until we see the numbers both recover and exceed where they were before COVID.